The final list of players for the much anticipated IPL auction is out. On 20th of January, the IPL announced a total of 578 players that will go under the hammer on the 27th and 28th of January in Bengaluru. The auction will begin with two sets of marquee players going up for bidding, followed by the first set of capped players. In a marked change from the past auctions, the IPL has decided to feature the uncapped players on the first day of the auction, which will feature T20 specialists like Krunal Pandya, along with India Under-19 stars Prithvi Shaw, Shubman Gill and Kamlesh Nagarkoti. The two sets of marquee players with which the IPL auction will begin on the 27th of January in Bangalore comprises of 16 players in all. The first set has three India players, are Ashwin, Shikhar Dhawan and Ajinkya Rahane, along with Faf Duplessis from South Africa, Australia pacer Mitchell Stark and West Indies Chris Gale with compatriot Kyron Pollard. The second marquee set features nine players, including India veterans Gautam Gambhir, Harbhajan Singh and Yuvrat Singh. In addition to them, the set also has Ben Stokes, Dwayne Bravo, Shakib al Hassan, Glenn Maxwell, Joe Root and Kane Williamson. After defeating the hosts Australia convincingly in Melbourne and Brisbane, England would be hoping to continue their winning run and wrap up the ODI series by winning the third game in Sydney on Jan 21st. Australia dominated the visitors in the Ashes, winning the tests 4-0, but have failed to find any rhythm in the ODIs after losing both games so far. They need to win in Sydney to keep the five-match series alive. England have looked relentless in their coloured kits under Rowan Morgan and would be eyeing their fifth straight bilateral ODI series win. On the back of centuries from Liam Banks and Will Jacks, England thrashed Canada by 282 runs and by registering their third straight massive win in a row, have marched into the quarter-finals of the ICC Under-19 World Cup in New Zealand. England finished on top of their group and Canada's loss meant Bangladesh too qualified for the quarters. Zimbabwe left-arm seamer Brian Vittori has been allowed to bowl in international cricket after his bowling action was found legal post a remedial work and a reassessment. Vittori was originally suspended from bowling in Jan 2016, but after resuming in June, was reported again in the ODI against Sri Lanka at Bulawayo, which led to a 12-month suspension in December 2016. The umpires are still at liberty to report the 27-year-old if they believe he is displaying a suspect action. However, since Vittori has cleared an independent assessment after serving the ban, if he is reported again, it will be deemed as his first offence.